the one with the rifle gets killed. The one who is coloring picks up the rifle and shoots. Welcome to the ninth episode of the Pick Up the Rifle and Shoot series, featuring my Henry Classic Lever Action 22 Model H001. You know, they say you'll always remember your first, like having your first McRib sandwich to your first CNR shipped directly to your door. First will always be a part of us and will always remember how they made us feel. Now if you're lucky enough to still have your very first rifle, then life is good. But if you don't, then it's possibly one of your biggest regrets. As for me, I came very close in losing my first rifle from a consignment sale, but I was able to get her back before she sold. So here she is, my very first rifle, my Henry Classic Lever Action 22, model H001. I wanted a 22 for my first rifle and semi-autos just didn't appeal to me at the time. I wanted to manually work the action and have the interaction and control. So in 2013, I decided to go with a lever action and found the Henry Classic model H001 was the best choice in terms of value and quality and absolutely love how they are made in America or not made at all. I'll go over her in more detail but let's make sure she's all clear. First up is the beautiful American Walnut buttstock, which is not the original, but from Henry's youth model, the H001Y. The youth stock is slightly shorter than the original, and provides a length of pull of 13 inches, which feels just right. It also balances the rifle better and looks more proportionate in my opinion. Next, I added the Williams FPGR peep sight with target knobs on the receiver. I also changed the original aperture to a smaller 50 thousandths of an inch for better accuracy. There are many other options of peep sights, but the Williams offered the best features for silhouette matches. These matches are at known distances and you must be able to change your sights on the fly or learn your holds. The target knobs allow for quick adjustments and are secured by lock screws. I added an elevation thumb lock screw for the sake of convenience, which has proven to be invaluable during a match. Moving along, here's the American Walnut 4N that I got with a used stock, bought directly from Henry. And on the top, where the stock rear sight was, I fitted in a Lyman slot blank for a cleaner look. Now, on to the front sight. My first shots with the Williams were very high, even with the sight adjusted all the way down. So I replaced the front sight with a high-vis fiber optic and fitted in a taller Browning BL-22 front sight, which allowed me to zero my Henry perfectly. Now, let's go flip her on to the other side. Here's another view of the gorgeous American Walnut stock. To date, the Williams peat side has remained nice and tight on the receiver and has proven to be plenty accurate and precise at different zeros. Overall, 
I'm very happy with my Henry Classic Lever Action 22, and I'm proud to have her as my first rifle. The fit and finish is superb, and I'm very impressed with the quality. I've shot thousands of rounds through her with no malfunctions, and she has proven to be very reliable and accurate. Now let's get on with the shooting. Off to the 75 meter range. I decided to zero my Henry at 75 meters, which is the distance for turkeys at my range where silhouette matches are held. This zero will be my baseline for other distances of 40 meter chickens, 50 meter pigs, and 100 meter rams. After adjusting my sights, I proceeded to shoot 5 rounds to confirm my zero. As you can see, the first three rounds hit the center of the target, perfect windage and elevation. And the last two, well, <laughs> that's all me. Now let's see how she does at 100 meters. After adjusting my elevation to 15 clicks up from my 75 meter zero, I proceeded to shoot five rounds to confirm. The target I'm using is the shoot and see from Big Dog Targets. The first circle is 4 inches in diameter and the second one is 8. I went downrange to confirm what I saw in my spotting scope, a 3.2 inch group. Three of the rounds hit center of the target and the other two were low. Definitely need to work on my breathing, but still a decent group. Now let's go back to the firing line and load up another five rounds. In my opinion, 10 rounds gives the shooter the best measure of what their rifle is capable of and what they're capable of, and five rounds isn't enough. As you can see, three of the rounds hit the same area from the first group, and with that data, I could conclude that my 2013 Henry Classic Lever Action Model H001 can do 2.36 MOA at 100 meters with the ammo that I'm using, CCI Mini Mags 22LR 40 grain. Shooting 10 rounds gives me an honest measurement of my capability with the ammo that I'm using. 
I will measure 8 out of 10 rounds, 80%, the same way as my previous videos, allowing 2 for shooter errors, flyers, and outliers. Now, with all the seriousness out of the way, it's time to have some fun. I set up a shooting gallery of 5 1 5 scale rams at 100 meters and challenged myself to knock them off with only 10 rounds. Surprisingly, I was able to complete the challenge on the first take. Let's see how it went. I superimposed all the hits so you can see how the group looks. I was hitting left of center. The front side pretty much covered a ram and only had a hit of white showing on the sides for windage. But otherwise, a hit is a hit. And as long as the target falls, then it's counted. Challenge completed. I want to end with this last clip from the recent state match to show you how fun silhouette shooting is. Really too. For your second and middle row of targets, ready. Fire. Stand there, low. Hit somewhere in the upper edge. Number three. Yep, on the right here. I'll tell you, there is something about silhouette shooting. Perhaps it's hearing the steel ring and watching the targets fall, or the camaraderies that are made between competitors. But what I do know is the most fun I've ever had with a 22. And hopefully after watching this video, it's something you will consider doing in the future. So there you have it. My very first rifle. My Henry Classic Lever Action 22. The funnest rifle I own. Not only can it shoot for groups, but also knock down silhouettes with ease. Special thanks to my friend Erwin who introduced me to silhouette shooting and helping me become a better shooter. And thanks to you for watching. Till next time.